Welcome back. You have full control over all of the characters inside of your scenes. So for example, if we were to place our cursor on top of the character, what you'll notice is that you have a menu on this right hand side. And we can dictate what our character does and how he interacts inside of the scene. So for example, if we were to click this button that says action, what we can do is we can determine how the customer moves and interacts inside of the video. We can have them do certain functions and you'll see them here in this all actions area. So for example, if we were to click here sports, we can choose a sports action for our character. In this case, you'll see that this is a referee action. We can click this play button so that we can see how the action is going to happen. We can then click apply. Once we've applied it, we can then click save. And we can preview how that action is going to look inside of our video if we click this preview button. So if we place our cursor back on top of the character, we can choose another action if we don't like that one. For example, if we hide the other actions, we can choose an action we think is most appropriate, and then we can add it to our scene. And then we can click Save, and we can preview the action by clicking the Preview button. and we can exit out of preview mode. If we want to change the expression on our character's face, all we'll need to do is to click this expression button and we can then click a particular expression. We can choose that expression based on the expressions that we have available to us. And once we've chosen an expression, we can then click this arrow. We can click the expression button and the expression goes away. And what we're going to do now is we're going to stop the video here and we're going to pick it up from character dialog. Welcome back. Now we can add in character dialog so that the character will move its mouth in the video along with our dialog. So for example, we're going to click on top of our character and we're going to click on this mic. And what you'll see here is that we can add dialog or spoken word content. To do that, we're going to click Add Dialog. We're then going to click on Text to Speech. We're then going to write in our text to speech. Once we have our expression in, we're then going to click Generate. That's going to give us an audio file, and you'll see that audio file being formed, and you'll see that audio file fill in here in this area. What we're going to do is we're going to lengthen our scene so that it matches the length of our audio. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click the Save button. And you're going to see that our character is now going to talk along with this audio. And what we're going to do now is we're going to click the Preview button so that we can see and hear the video. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. So any place where we add this dialogue or we add the audio, we can place it in so that our character can interact as if they were actually doing the talking. And what you'll notice here is that this audio is on an audio track here on our timeline. And you'll see it highlighted here. Now if what you wanted to do was you wanted to add in an audio recording instead, what you can do is you can change this by clicking on top of the character and then going back to your audio dialog you can remove this dialog, and you can add in new dialog, and you can upload the audio that you want to be there. What you'll do is you'll then click Save, and then what we'll need to do is to click the Preview button. Hello and welcome. You are now looking at Meetup, and so once you've completed, you'll then click Exit. What you can also do is you can remove this audio and then you can add in dialogue again, but this time you can add in a mic recording. 
In this case, you're going to click mic recording. And then you're going to click on the mic and then you're going to record. Once you have your mic recording, you can play it. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. Once you have it, you can then click save. And then your audio will then be part of your video. You can then preview your content. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their So you can add in audio in order for your character to speak. Now you can also determine how your character moves inside of your scene. You can have them enter in one part of the scene in a certain way. You can give them a motion path and then you can give them an exit activity. So for example, if we were to click on top of our character and we were to click on this button that says enter effect. We're going to click remove to remove any other enter effects that we have. We're going to start from scratch. What we're going to do is we're going to click none, which will bring us to the actual effect. And what we can do is we can determine how we want the character to enter. And we can look at that effect using the preview. We can then click apply. What we can do is we can then click save. What we're going to do for the sake of this video is we're going to remove the audio. And we're now just going to watch the effect that we just created inside of the video which was the enter effect. And what we're going to do is we're going to click the preview button. And what you're going to see is that our character is going to enter in a certain manner. You'll see that that character is then dropped in. We're now going to exit. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put our cursor back on our character. What you're going to notice is that not only do we have entry activity, we can also determine a motion path. So we can click add motion path. And what we're going to do is we're going to determine where our character goes inside of the screen. And so in this case, we're going to move that character up. We're going to shrink them down. So basically what we've done is we've moved the character to the right and we've reduced the character's size. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save our motion path. What you're now going to see is the entry activity and then you're going to see the motion path. We're going to click preview. And so you can see our character move. We're then going to click the exit preview mode. Now what we're going to do is we're going to determine the exit path for our character. And we can do that by clicking on top of our character. We can then click the exit effect we can then do is we're going to click this none link and then we're going to determine our character's exit. We're going to click slide, we're going to click this one, and then we're going to click save. What we're going to do now is we're going to preview the character. You'll notice then that they move to the right and then they slide out according to our directions. So you have full control over your character based on how you want them to interact in the scene. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.